sign door one. Once again, I went ahead and opened the doors. Blame it on the rain. <laughs> And it's kind of raining, but it should be good. So uh, door number one, it's all, I don't know if the camera is getting it uh, through the mirror, but it's all the way by the, by the ramp. So I'm trying to go on an angle here. Got it. Okay, I see. It's uh, one of those uh, uh, doors that your tires need to be on top of the line here. I don't think I'm centered. Let's go ahead and check it out. Do it quick. Okay, I guess. I guess I am lined up so all right let's see how long they're gonna take uh we're picking up uh shopping uh shopping carts there you go uh going to Sam's Club in Detroit Michigan and it's gonna be a nice drive we'll see I'll catch you guys in a minute let's go we got loaded let me go ahead and show you guys what we got Oh, actually, I forgot the... I forgot the seal. Apparently, it's uh, 270 uh, shopping carts. Sitting at 18,900.
Oh. Hi, man. Uh, we actually need fuel. So I'm going to stop at the Flying J in uh, Chicago, Oklahoma, about 36 miles away. Um, I'm actually going to put this. This is where they actually put them together. Like the shopping carts, they put them together here. Well, yeah, guys, uh, I guess I'll catch you guys later. Maybe at the, at the truck stop or down the road. Peace! Man, I'm pushing it. That's 
11 minutes guys wow but it is what it is right but so far the drive has been good uh, it actually stopped raining I don't know about an hour and a half two hours ago or so so I'm thankful for that Hopefully I don't get no traffic between here and St. Louis. So let's see if we actually make it to, to that pilot of Flying J. We'll see. So with that being said, guys, uh, I guess I'll catch you guys in the morning to see if we actually make it. If we made it, actually. What's going on guys good morning and welcome to a new day guys uh local time it's 11 31 a.m central time currently located here in troy illinois as you guys saw in the last two clips uh before this one uh we actually made it uh to st louis uh with no issues and i believe this is what the pilot it's actually a pilot not the flying jay uh, it's on exit 1A, so exit 18. Um, as soon as you go into the Illinois side. Uh, so what we have going on today, guys. Uh, from here to Detroit, Michigan, we got 524, 25 miles. So that's about eight and a half, nine hours away. Um, so that's going to put us... Maybe getting there like around 9, 10, or maybe like around 11, because I, oh, I'm actually gonna be stopping at the Petron Interstate 69 uh, to go out and do a PM on the truck. Uh, for me, I like to do a PM on the truck between 15,000 miles and 20,000 miles. And right now I'm sitting at, give me one second. Right now I'm sitting at 15,861 miles. So by the time I get there, it's gonna be about what? 282 miles, I think it was, uh, till I get there. So that's gonna pull me around 16,000 miles or so. But yeah, guys, uh, let's go ahead and get rolling. Thank you guys for coming along with me. And I'll see you guys later.
Come on, man. Really? Really? Hello, hello. What's going on, my people? What's going on, guys? Uh, local time is 6.41 p.m. Eastern time. Currently traveling Interstate 69 North as we make our way to Detroit, Michigan. And guys, uh, you guys remember this morning uh, when I was talking about doing a PM uh, today, right? You guys remember? Yeah, man. That's not gonna happen, unfortunately. But whatever. So um, after I was done with that first video that you guys saw, um, I gave them a call and they told me, oh look, uh, give us a call about 30 minutes before you get you get here uh, to the Petro. So I was like, okay, cool. So I stopped there on exit 214 on, at the Loves on Interstate 69 to go ahead and put some DF. I was running kind of low on it and I got me a quick little snack. Uh, some watermelon slice slices and um, I went ahead and gave them a call and uh, when I did they told me the wait time it's four hours and 30 minutes unbelievable so obviously I'm not gonna wait that long so I'm just gonna go out and do it sometime this weekend on my next load which I'm gonna go out and talk about it on my next video so you guys are gonna see that sometime on Monday or Tuesday we'll see but with that being said guys I'll catch you guys when we get to the pilot outside of Toledo Ohio to go out and put some fuel Peace out and be safe out there. Peace. good morning uh, it's the next day as you guys can see the Sun is out and bright man and it's hot it's hot it's hot guys man I tell you uh, local time is 10 17 uh, a.m. Uh, currently located here in Detroit Michigan as you guys saw uh, I mean a, I don't know a couple of clips ago uh, when I went through downtown uh, the drive was good yesterday and throughout the night just you know Michigan drivers they're there's something else Michigan drivers just like Miami 
Now, but yeah, guys, uh, we stopped here at the Sam's Club. Uh, I already went ahead and checked in. They took my number down because apparently there's a semi truck uh, getting unloaded. There's a McLean uh, waiting to get unloaded. And there's a Pepsi guy that they're waiting on, but he's not here yet. So I don't know if they're going to take me in after McLean. Uh, they did say, I spoke to the McLean driver and he said that they don't have a lot. So we'll see. I do got to be at my next pickup at 1.30. And I'm only, what, like 35 minutes away. So it's not that bad if you think about it. But I think I see him. Nope, that's not him. That shows another driver that got here. Oh, man. But yeah, guys, uh, I guess I'll catch you guys whenever they give me a call and uh, ready to back in. Peace out, guys. See you guys in a minute. Just got a call. Uh, local time is 11 or 2 a.m. Uh, that's where I actually spent my night um, on that parking lot right there. And uh, they gave us a call and they told us to go ahead and uh, wait for this box truck uh, to get out. So what I did is um, I came around over here and just parked right in front of the docks here. Uh, so I can just do a straight back after that guy's done. So in the meantime, let's go ahead and open the doors, get everything ready. So we just have to straight back. Oh, and I think I didn't show you guys uh, what I got on the trailer. Well, I did, but not, not that much. Uh, when I went back and look at the... Oh, I need the keys. Man, it smells so good, guys. Man. Where do I have... Oh, all right, just give me one second, guys. Right, we're back. But yeah, man, it smells so good. But I think that's, you know, it's a Sam's Club, so they do make food in, uh, inside, just like Costco. guys smells so new smells brand new ah. am I the only one that likes uh brain like the smell of brand new especially metal I don't know how are they gonna get the one from the top because uh when I pick this up they use like a Oh my gosh, I, I forgot the, the name, but they used something to to put the sh uh, the shopping cards at the top. Come on, man. But I guess I guess I'll catch you guys whenever this guy lives, I guess. All right, let's get out of here, man. Uh, we got emptied. Everything went well. It took a little bit longer than expected, but it is what it is. They did it by hand. And um, right now we're about 45 minutes away. Um, I am gonna be a little bit late to my next pickup by 15 minutes or 20 minutes uh, due to uh, traffic on 75. 
but it's all right so that's gonna be it for this video guys um if you guys like this well if you guys are liking this uh type of content what well, the new type of content now go ahead and hit the like button and comment down below if you have any questions and uh with that being said guys let me go ahead and stop over here before i continue so i can end the video here nobody's coming behind me but yeah guys uh i'll see you guys on the next uh video uh which is gonna come out maybe monday or tuesday we'll see and uh yeah peace out and like always stay safe out there guys peace